Hi guys, welcome back to Truck Talk Tuesday. This is where we talk in the truck on Tuesday. I'm your host Troy. Let's go ahead and unpack. We've got to break down a few things. Today is a very important Tuesday. It's the day to vote. You need to get out and vote. It's important. I voted myself today, if you can't tell. And I don't care what side of the aisle you're on, just get out and vote. It's important. You should always take politics seriously, no matter what side of the aisle you're on or how you what your views are. Just get out and vote. It's important. Now, enough politics aside, just wanted to give you an update. Um, <laughs> I failed horribly on my diet over the last week because we had Halloween and we had already planned a, a chili dinner party and I broke my diet for probably three days and I didn't even bother weighing myself today. I'm just getting back on board. I'll weigh myself for records and I'll let you know next week what my weight was at that point. So I'm going to try to keep it under five minutes today because I'm working on filming some other stuff. I'm going to be doing some welding today and I'm going to try to post another video soon on that. Well, actually probably my first video on that actually. So doing that, I got some stuff coming today for my forge, which is a uh, a refractory cement because I made a soup can forge and I got some Miko's Red Devil refractory cement to coat it so that the insulation that I put in it and cast myself I made my own castable refractory but I need to seal that and it's the stuff I'm getting rated to 3000 degrees so my little soup can forge will be able to handle it uh, I'm also going to be working on building a bigger forge coming up I have all the materials to do it. I just got to do it. Um, also have a hand crank blower coming tomorrow, I believe. So that'll be coming in on Wednesday. That way I can use that instead of a blow dryer for my coal forge. But my soup can forge is a gas forge. I will do at some point the video on how I made my castable refractory as I'm making a bigger forge. And it's going to be out of one of the 100-gallon propane tanks that I have sitting around that's already cut open, just using it as a main body. And I'm considering making it a forced air forge to save a little gas. Um, I also will show other things like how I make my uh, burners for the forge, whenever I just do the Venturi-style burners. I got a system worked out, and I might actually start selling on Etsy or something, um, where I've taken a black iron pipe, and I've drilled a hole, and tapped it for quarter-inch male pipe thread, and then I thread on my own little homemade gas nipple, in a sense. That way I can supply gas in. The only thing I really had to buy already made was the hose and gauge I got off Amazon. I think it was like 30 bucks, but my little soup can forge, I got, I believe under 50 bucks in it until my refractory comes in today, which is just to add some longevity, but the little forge has worked already. And I can show a little video of it, or not video, it's a picture of it. And in that picture, you'll see me using a oxyacetylene torch which was actually ran with oxypropane. But in the picture, I only had the propane side turned on and I was using that as my burner. Since then I've upgraded to an actual T where I've drilled through, like I was saying, and I'll show some pictures of that uh, setup. And you can build a forge pretty cheap. My coal forge is probably the cheapest you can build. I just was using scrap material and I think I had the end of a pressure tank from a well that is just basically a dish. And I welded square tubing onto it and drilled some holes through. And I heated up one end of the square tubing, which is like two inch metal square tube. And I pounded it out on the horn of the anvil, kind of round. I didn't get it perfect, but round enough that I was able to put a blow dryer in the end as my uh, air supply at the time 
which I'm going to have to modify that to get the hand forward or hand crank blower working on it. Anyway, that's my plans for that. Just also working on the bathroom project, but I'm not going to be sharing that on the channel. Uh, it just gets a little cramped in there trying to do everything and all that. Plus, I don't know if my wife wants pictures of the inside of our house online, especially in the middle of construction. She gets a little self-conscious about that about it being a construction zone i don't want to make her uncomfortable so i'm not going to be sharing that so just remember get out and vote we got more videos coming i'm in the process of filming today also got a couple of reviews i'm going to be doing on my other channel on the albright adventures outdoors i'm still filming with that haven't got a deer yet but i got a put together a bunch of film clips. My son passed his hunter safety course and we went out this weekend and we hunted Sunday after church and we went out, jumped a deer on our way out to the stand and didn't see any more after that. But we saw an owl land in a tree a little ways away from us and it stared at us and hung around for about five or 10 minutes. And we also got to see two bobcats run through the brush. And I'm not sure how well my son saw but I pointed him out and he said he saw him. So, uh, nice to get out and into nature and enjoy it. And that's pretty much all I have for the day. I want you to remember to hit the subscribe button, like, share it with your friends, help me grow this channel, help me grow my other channel too. Once I start posting videos on it and we'll catch you for the next one.